Well then, what do we have here? More naval strike news coming out today. There was an update for the PS4 version of Battlefield 4, which may have inadvertently released some details about the game. And this is what we have for Carrier Assault, a tutorial on how to play it, and it actually explains how it's going to be implemented into the Naval Strike DLC. As you can see, so far there are two aircraft carriers and each team must capture objectives on the mainland which then fire missiles at the enemy's aircraft carrier, each taking 5% health each time one of those missiles hits. Whilst this is going on, you and your team can attempt to take the other flags to increase the firepower on the carrier that your enemy is trying to protect, and the more firepower that you hit against it, the quicker you're going to be able to infiltrate the ship. Once the enemy carrier reaches 50%, you're then able to go inside the ship and proceed to blow up two bomb sites. Each of these will take away 25% health from the enemy carrier, and thus, once you destroy the enemy carrier, you will win the game. This game mode is essentially a carbon copy of Titan mode from 2142. The only difference is there are no shields around the outside of these aircraft carriers, simply that you just have to knock them down to enough health to make sure that you can get onto the ship and start destroying those bomb sites. By the looks of this, right at the end there, you can see the friendly player has to escape the ship in order not to die, so I take it that once this thing is actually going to explode, the game will give you a short amount of time to leave the ship to make sure you don't die in that explosion. And with all the anticipation surrounding Naval Strike, it looks as if Carrier Assault really is going to live up to what it has to, which is Titan Mode from 2142. I really hope that players join in with this because it seems like a really good mode to play, and it looks like it's perfect for the naval setting, so let's see how it goes with this one, I'm really looking forward to it. And along with this tutorial for Carrier Assault, we have now seen all five weapons that will be included in the Naval Strike DLC. As I said in my last video, the ARX-160 will be making its way into BF4 as the new Assault Rifle. The 160 is being joined by the SR-2 PDW, which is a Russian submachine gun. The SW-40 will be available for you to use too. This is a Smith & Wesson revolver pistol, snub nose style, very much like the Magnum, but a lot shorter. We're also going to get to try out the SR-338, which in the description for this weapon states it's a semi-automatic sniper rifle and is included in the sniper rifle class, not the DMR class, so that could be quite interesting. And the final weapon is the AWS, which is a sort of an infantry assault rifle, but is going to be available in the LMG section for the support class for Naval Strike. So Naval Strike really is on the horizon for us now. We have all this new information to pour over for the next sort of 13, 14 days. If rumours are to be believed, this DLC will be out on the 18th of March. But that's all I've got for you today. I just thought I'd keep you updated with all the latest Battlefield 4 news. Make sure you hit like on the video so other people can see it. And make sure you leave your comments down below about Carrier Assault and the new weapons that we're going to get to play with in this new DLC. But until next time, my name is Westy. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.